So for this barefoot sandal, you're going to need your shells. Um, I had a necklace that I found at the dollar store. It was already pre-beaded and it had all these beads on it. And all I did was cut it and take it apart. So depending on what you can find for shells, whether it be a necklace that you've taken apart or if you've actually went out and specifically bought in these little bits, probably get them at like Michael's or some other craft or beading store. So I've divided it into two piles. I have my small ones and I have my large ones. You will also need a clasp and beads to make your toe ring part. Any color will do. I've chosen this slightly off white just to match the shells. You will also need about a meter of fishing line. I usually use between two and five pound weight. You want it thin enough that you can pass it through your beads a couple times. Um, if it barely goes through once, then your fishing line is too thick for your beads. So then you need to go buy a thinner one. So all you're going to do is you're going to attach your clasp. Okay. Make sure to leave yourself enough of a tail here to tie it off. And just however you want. I'm just doing regular knots here. Okay, and then when you think it's secure enough, I want you to start making your barefoot sandal. Don't worry about the tail or anything like that. Just put it off to the side. And then taking the other end of your fishing line, the long one, what we're going to do is we're going to start beating on our pattern for the anklet part of the barefoot sandal. So for my anklet, I need 10 inches. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one inch increments for my pattern. So here on my fishing line, I have 12 size 10 seed beads, which gives me three quarters of an inch, plus one of these little shells, which equals one fourth of an inch. So this plus this gives me one whole inch. Okay. So take your 12 seed beads and just let them fall down. And now what we're going to do is we're going to thread on our uh, seashell. It's a little easier to go from where the hole is instead of trying to find the hole in there. Let's go from this end here. There we go. So once you've got your shell beaded on, just pull it down to your beads. Now this gives me one inch and I need a total of 10 inches. So I'm going to do this 10 times. So once you have something that looks like this uh, to fit your sandal, try it on, make sure it fits. If it's too small, add more. If it's too big, adjust your pattern so that it does fit. Mine was too small by about 3 quarters of an inch, so all I did was add another 12 seed beads. Before we go on, is we're going to go back to the beginning where you had your tail and we're going to take that tail and we're going to bead it up through the bottom of your beads. There we go. Doesn't matter how many, just enough that you get a good length in. There we go. Now what you're going to do is you're going to cut your tail. Be very careful you don't cut your pattern. So now we're going to go back to the end, the other end here, where we were adding on our beads. And you're going to take your fishing line, and then you're going to pass it through the other end of your clasp to finish off your anklet. Okay. Now, keep in mind that the shells are going to make it a little stiff so you don't want to tie your anklet off tight. You want to make sure your anklet has some give. You don't want it to be stiff as a board because then it's just not going to be comfortable. So if you just relax it a little and just have it nice and soft because then it'll bend with your ankle and it won't be so uncomfortable. So now what you're going to do is you're going to tie a knot. So I just tie a regular knot it is going to be a little awkward because the piece of fishing line is so long. 
but just have patience and tie a couple knots. There we go. Okay. So once you have enough knots and you're comfortable that it's nice and secure, we're going to do the same thing that we just did to the other side. We're going to take the tail of our fishing line and we're going to put it up through our beads. Okay, and then just pull your tail through. And then cut your tail off. So now to start the downward part of your barefoot sandal we need to attach the tail that we cut off of here. It should be long enough to make the rest of your barefoot sandal. If it's not, just cut a new piece. So what I recommend is you take your anklet and you fold it in half. Okay? And for here, this is my middle. Now if your middle is a shell, what I want you to do is I want you to start it just like me. So tie this fishing line, your new piece, onto this old one in the anklet. You're going to do it between the shell and the first seed bead. Okay, if you're coming from this side, or if you're coming from this side, same thing. Just between that seed bead and that shell. Just attach it. And that'll help hide the knot. I'm going to tie my fishing line. Okay, so just tie a knot. Now remember to leave a tail long enough. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure my fishing line is placed in the right spot. Okay, so see how I did that? So I tied it between the shell and that first bead. Tie a couple more knots until you know it's secure. You might not want to leave a tail as short as I did. It makes it a little difficult to tie some knots. So once you're comfortable with how you have it tied on, you're going to take your tail, which is the short piece here of your fishing line, and you're going to pass it back through your beads. Okay, just pass it back through your seed beads just to hide it. And we'll just get it out of the way. See there, it's coming out. So I'm just going to grab it and pull. And then just cut off your tail. So now what we're left with is something like this. Now if you remember, this is my middle, in the middle of these beads. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through these beads and come out the sixth one. Because remember I did 12, so my middle is 6. So I'm going to come out the sixth. If your uh, middle looks something like this, and that is your middle bead, come down all the way through these seed beads and come out this last seed bead just before the, the shell, and then we'll go down from there. So there we go. See how I'm coming out of my middle bead? Just pull your fishing line. So now we're ready to start the downward portion of our barefoot sandal. Depending on your, your shells and how big they are um, will depend on what kind of a pattern you come up with. For my particular barefoot sandal, I need four inches. And for me, each of these is equal to one quarter inch. Each of these is about an inch long, but if you turn it around, the holes aren't at the end. For me, the holes are in the back, and they're half an inch apart, and so what's going to happen when I beat it on is instead of the shell sitting here, the shell's going to sit down here. So these are going to overlap, right? So just, you know, lay it out, play with it, see how you like it, see how it lays out. So the half an inch 
between these plus the quarter inches gives me one inch. See? So I'm going to repeat that four times down my barefoot sandal. For your anklet, it didn't matter which way you did the, the shells, it was whatever you grabbed. Now, if you want your shells going in a specific direction down your barefoot sandal, this is where you might want to pay attention. I, I'm not too particular, so I'm not. So I'm just going to grab one of my tiny shells and I'm going to thread it through just like that and then I'm going to grab one of my big beads now what I found with the big beads is this is a bit curved in here it's not exactly a straight um, hole to hole like normal beads it's kind of on the back on a flat bit so if you look at your fishing line you notice that it kind of, because we've been working with it, it kind of has a bit of a bend in it, a natural bend. See how it's kind of pointing down and if I twist it, it kind of points up. Make sure it's pointing up when you go through the first hole of your shell. And that would help, that will help it find this second hole at the back. So if you make sure it's pointing up and you go through the first hole, it kind of slides along the bottom and it hopefully like that will come out of the other end. It may take a bit of playing and then I'm going to thread on my next bead. So that is one inch. So now I'm going to repeat that. Okay so now I have something that looks like this and I've used up all my large beads double check. I want you to, before we go to the toe part, put your barefoot sandal on again and check. Make sure that this, along with your anklet, fits nicely. Here's where you can change it. If it's too short, you can add another shell bead or two if you need to. Or if it's really too short, you can take this apart and kind of add it and adjust it to fit your foot. If it's too long, you can take away at this point. Mine, I tried on, and it is too long by one small shell. So what I'm actually going to do is take it off. And I actually like the look of it better without that shell, because this is going to sit at the base of my toe. So that'll be like the jewel on my toe ring. So what I'm going to do now is the toe ring part. And what you're going to do is you're going to take your fishing line and you're going to take your seed beads and you're going to put enough seed beads on to make the toe ring part. For me, it's usually about 50 or so uh, size 10 seed beads. Once you have the beads for your toe ring beaded on, just let them fall down to the base. And what you're going to do which you're going to make sure everything's nice and snug where you want it to be. And what we're going to do is we're going to tie a knot. And just holding everything in place, hopefully, just Okay, there we go. So make sure everything's nice and snug up against your shell bead. You don't want anything loose. You don't want anything, you don't want any big, big gaps or anything like that. So make sure it's nice and snug and just tie a knot or two. Okay. There we go. Oh, I'm so not left-handed. Okay, there we go. So there we go. Tie one more. There it goes. Okay. So now that you have it and it's nice and secure, what you're going to do is you're going to take your tail through my seed beads. 
So it doesn't matter which side you go down, just pick a side of the circle and just start from the knot. Just thread it back through the seed beads. Half an inch, an inch, doesn't matter, it's up to you. Just as long as it's in there. And just pull, and there you go. So just trim off your tail. There you go. There's your shell barefoot sandal.